Hey guys. So, uh, uh, it's the long weekend and I have nothing else to do, so I figured I'd make a 4x4 Rubik's Cube tutorial. Hopefully it turns out okay. Uh, I'm sick and right now and I have hiccups, so forgive me if I start to ramble. First thing, when you're solving a 4x4 Rubik's Cube is you're going to need a 4x4 Rubik's Cube. I'm sure you can find out how to get one yourself. This is mine. Uh, I personally prefer Mefferts, but get them online at Mefferts.com. Uh, you'll also need to know how to solve the 3x3 and the 2x2. Two two. You also need a pen, piece of paper, and uh, don't like hate yourself and think you're weak because you're a bit nervous. Uh, to be honest, I was a bit nervous at first when I first got my 4x4. Four and I didn't know how to solve it, I scrambled it, and I was a bit nervous, so don't worry about it. Normal. Anyway, let's get down to it. Just to let you guys know, I'm going to be using a Mefferts for this tutorial, just because uh, the Rubik's brand is a, uh, the Rubik's brand is a piece of crap, so uh, I wouldn't use it for anything serious. First of all, you guys are going to have to learn a few, a bit of new notation. So, you guys are already familiar, I'm sure, with the uh, with the standard notation like R prime R U prime U L prime uh, L D prime D. I'm sure you guys are all familiar with that. Now, uh, for this for this cube, you're gonna notice that the cube has extra has basically an extra inside wedge to every side, and. Uh, if we want to move two layers at once, like this, we are going to uh, denote it by a double U. All right. So the corresponding outside face will represent which layer we're turning. So this would be like R. So this would be the R, right? If we want to turn the face in the inside of the R, we would say R W. All right. So this is R W. And uh, this is LW, this is UW, this is FW. Basically, it's just a uh, normal notation followed by a W if you are most, if you want to move the, uh, also move the corresponding inner wedge. So, uh, another new notation that you're going to have to learn is uh, a lowercase letter, then uh, that means that you only move the inner wedge. So, if I were to say R, uh, like little r, or lowercase r, that means move the uh, inner wedge here. So like, uh, double case r2, lowercase, lowercase r2 would be this, lowercase, lowercase l2 would be this. It's really the only uh, inner wedge stuff we're going to be doing is r and l. Counterclockwise movements are denoted by an apostrophe, and uh, yeah, you'll get used to the new notation. If you don't understand still, you'll get used to the new notation as we move on. So, uh, once you are a little bit aware of the new notation, we are going to get down and scramble our cubes. Alright, so once you have your cubes scrambled, uh, you are going to be a little bit lost as to how you're going to solve it, so I'll just show you how we're going to solve it. What we'll first be doing is, because this cube has no centers, we're going to make centers out of these four centers right here. So we're first going to solve these centers. Then what we're going to do is we are going to make edges, to make these two edges into one by grouping them, pairing them up. So they're all like a little, uh, let me just try and get an example. So they're all, so th all the edges are kind of like this, paired up. Then once they're done that, you're going to solve it like a 3x3. Three three. And you're going to solve it like a 3x3 three three and parity. Alright. Uh, so unfortunately, I don't want to exceed the 10 minute uh, limit here, so you can watch the next video. Uh, you can the next video in the series. Click on the Lego if you want to watch the next video. Click on the Lego now.
click it. I have no clue what I'm doing with my with my hands. Okay, if you're still watching, you have no life.